for the first time we filmed a video together, both of us, in a quite a long time. Yes, quite a long time. Welcome to that 1870s homestead. My name's Rachel. And I'm Todd. And today, we're gonna freeze dry stuff. And undoubtedly, every single time we post a video about freeze drying, the number one comment we always get is, how much does it cost? How much does it cost to run a cycle of the freeze dryer to do something? Tomatoes, yeah. bananas, no matter what we do, somebody says, okay, but how much does it cost? We know how much a freeze dryer costs. They're expensive, mm -hmm. but how much does it cost per cycle? So today we're gonna figure that out for you guys. The national average is about 23 cents per kilowatt hour. Is what, energy costs? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So to use a thousand watts of power is about 23 cents. In Michigan, we pay about 19 cents. So we're gonna freeze dry some eggs today. We're gonna measure how much power it used and then tell you how much it cost. But really, I just wanna freeze dry eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Cause our chickens have been laying crazily they again. Have. Like I've, the bowls Get have full. Blue ones and, and brown ones. And so we have like right around four dozen, which is exactly what you need to fill up a freeze dryer, our size anyway. Medium, medium, medium size. And we're gonna get to it, crack all these babies up and get them ready for freeze drying. What did we, did we do onions in this blender last time? This first batch might taste a little oniony. Onions? I don't it, think we did onions. It smells oniony, I don't know why. We All did right. some kind of powder something. What yeah. did I do? Powdered mm -hmm. potatoes. Instant oh, potatoes. Whoops. Yeah, and we're just using our Vitamix, but you could use a blender. You just want to blend your eggs before you freeze dry them. We are definitely not the only people that have videos on freeze drying eggs. Um, tons of videos out there on that already. The intent of this is just to answer that most desired question of how much <laughs> does this cost? And, all right. And I think you can truly fit up to 18 eggs on a tray from what I was researching, um, but a dozen is the standard. All right, this is what we're gonna use. This is called a kilowatt meter. This plugs into this extension cord which is plugged in up here. Our freeze dryer plugs into that, and that will measure the amount of kilowatt hours wattage used by the freeze dryer during its cycle. We haven't even turned it on yet. It's still warm. So it's gonna take a little while to come down to temperature. The eggs that we're putting in, Rachel has them here, are not frozen. They're warm, they're raw still. So. So you could save money by pre-freezing them ahead of time and then putting them into your freeze dryer, but we're not gonna do that today. It's just worst case scenario. So let's start this thing. Is the valve open or closed? Close the valve. So instead of filling the trays upstairs, having to gingerly walk downstairs with loaded eggs, we're not gonna do that. We're just bringing the blender down and filling these trays here. And then I'll keep going upstairs and blending another dozen and bringing them down and adding it to the freeze dryer. are loaded in it's gonna take a while probably tomorrow sometime these will be done we'll meet back up with you then we'll check out the eggs we'll check out the meter we'll see what it recorded we'll do some calculations and we'll figure out how much this cost well good morning our experiment has failed the door was turned but it wasn't turned all the way so the door did not seal last night and it threw an error that it was unable to draw a vacuum because well, the door wasn't sealed all the way. And then ice built up around it. So our worst case scenario for how long this is gonna take and how much it's gonna cost just got worse. 
now we got a good seal all the way around. You see the little, maybe hopefully you can see the little black ring. Let's resume. Took a long time. 18 kilowatt hours is what it ended up using in our worst case scenario of using non-frozen eggs and not having the door shut properly. So it took quite a while to run, a little longer than it normally would have. And at 18 kilowatt hours times 19 cents per, that comes out to about $3.42 to run this entire cycle. If you look on the Harvest Right, web, Harvest right website, it will tell you that the average cost to run a cycle is between two and three dollars. Our experiment here, worst case scenario, kind of does prove and validate their claim that it costs about that much. See how the eggs turned out? Rachel's going to take these upstairs with you guys and get them processed the rest of the way. I just wanted to close the loop and tell you guys what we ended up coming up with for a price to run this particular cycle. Well, those look pretty great. I think Todd told you guys how much we're estimating it costs to do it. And darn it, if we hadn't, uh, that door hadn't messed up, I think we would have had a better, better number. But that's just user error. So don't expect to be perfect every time you run it. This is not working as a tool. Let's see, I'm just trying to scrape out these eggs so that they're ready to be scooped and put in my jars. And um, for rehydrating them now, oops, I'm just dropped on the rug. The dogs are always at my feet, they're getting them. For rehydrating purposes, it's like equal parts. So I think it's two tablespoons of eggs to two tablespoons of water makes one egg. So I'm gonna get these in the jar and show you guys because I don't want you to have to listen to me scraping. Um, I'll show you at the end how much we get. How much is one medium Harvest Right freeze dryer filled with about four dozen eggs? What does that look like once you're all said and done? Alrighty, so about what is that? One, two, three, four quarts. Um, now, this probably easily fit into two quarts if I had powdered it like in a food processor, but I just don't want to get another dish dirty um, today. So I decided to do several in pine jars. I think that's easy grab and go when we go camping or to the cabin or something. So that's why they're done that way. And we will use these. These are not for emergency food preparations by any means. Um, we just had so many coming in that we probably couldn't have used them in this household fast enough. Um, and everybody's got eggs coming in here. We basically live in egg nation. So um, that being said, I am going to put these up. When Todd gets done with his task at hand, I'll have him grab some oxygen absorbers and we'll just throw one of those in each one of these jars. They turned out great, huh? Yeah. So I look forward to trying it and now you guys have your answer on how much does it cost to run a cycle in a freeze dryer, worst, worst case scenario. So see you guys on the next video. We have lots more to freeze dry coming out of the freezer. I saw more blueberries down there, strawberries, all kinds of things. So happy preserving food where you are in the way that you prefer to preserve your food. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video.